ACC is releasing kickoff times for many of the early games this football season. And we now know the Dr. Pepper ACC football championship game on December 7th will be either at 745 on ESPN or 8 on ABC. It's Friday, May 24th. I'm Jeff Fischel. This is the ACC Now brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. The season kicks off Thursday, August 29th, North Carolina versus South Carolina. The Tar Heels are now bowl eligible. Bryn Renner is back for his senior year. He'll be chased by Heisman candidate Jadavian Clowney. They'll play at 6 p.m. on ESPN. Saturday, August 31st, it's Logan Thomas leading Virginia Tech against the two-time defending national champs, Alabama. That's in Atlanta for the Chick-fil-A kickoff. Kickoff is 5.30 on ESPN. That same night at 8, a great rivalry returns. Taj Boyd and the Clemson Tigers go against the Georgia Bulldogs. That one's on ABC. They're only 90 minutes apart, the two schools, but haven't played in 10 years. Some other games, Florida Atlantic and Miami, start the season on a Friday night, August 30th at 8 on ESPNU. Welcome to the ACC Pit, hosting Florida State on Labor Day. That's also an 8 p.m. start. Wake Forest and BC, also prime time on Friday, September 6th. Could this be the last year of Florida and Miami? They're at noon on September 7th. That same day, the high-scoring Oregon Ducks come to Charlottesville, kick off 3.30 on ABC. North Carolina field hockey star Lauren Sheedley is the Sports Illustrated Female College Athlete of the Year. Sheedley also has a 4.0 and is the first varsity athlete to win a scholarship that allows UNC and Duke students to study at the other campus for a semester. As a lifelong Tar Heel fan, she jokes that the semester at Duke, it's been like she's been behind enemy lines. Congrats to Lauren. Carolina's Marcus Holman, the ACC Men's Lacrosse Offensive Player of the Year, is one of five conference players to be named First Team All-Americans. Maryland's Jesse Bernhardt was selected by the U.S. Intercollegiate Lacrosse Association as well. So is his teammate, John House. Duke's David Lawson and Brendan Fowler are also first teamers. Lawson and Fowler and the Duke Blue Devils take on Cornell tomorrow in one of the two national semifinals. It's at 2.30. You can watch on ESPN2. The second semi is Denver and future ACC member Syracuse. The orange is the top seed. Two days down, three to go at the ACC Baseball Championship. Former Duke coach Sean McNally and I will be in Durham for the rest of the tournament. For all the best highlights from every game, the must-see moments, and analysis, your home has to be the ACC Digital Network. We finish up with ACC and the pros, and we're counting Syracuse for this one. The ACC has three first-team All-NBA picks. So for the Qs, obviously it's Carmelo Anthony. He led the NBA in scoring. And two Wake Forest stars, Tim Duncan and Chris Paul. Duncan is on the first team for the 10th time in 16 NBA seasons. He averaged 18 points, 10 rebounds, 2.5 assists, and 2.5 and blocks. For Paul, it's the third time he's been picked. He averaged 17 a game and led the league in assist to turnover ratio. I'm Jeff Michelle. That's the ACC Now, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.